Good uh, afternoon. How are you all? Today we are going to talk about confidence interval for a population mean when the population standard deviation is no. So let me share my screen with you. The, the mean of scores of 38 students is 68 with a population standard deviation of 3. Find the 90% confidence interval for the population mean. So, solution. Confidence interval for the mean. Interval for the population mean. For the population mean. Given by. X bar plus minus Z alpha by 2 multiplied by sigma divided by square root of n. Now, here X bar is sample mean. Okay. Z alpha by 2 is the critical value of Z. Critical value of Z. Okay, sigma is your uh, population standard deviation. N is your sample size. C is your level of confidence. And C is equal to 1 minus alpha, which leads to alpha. This is alpha is equal to 1 minus C. Okay. Alpha is equal to level of significance. It's the complement of level of confidence. A level of, sorry, let me erase that. level of significance. So the confidence level in this problem, C is equal to 0 0.9 or 90% confidence. 90% confidence level. We always convert it into decimal. What does it mean? Okay. So I draw a bell-shaped curve. Uh, I should not touch the axis actually. It spreads out. So this is the standard normal curve. Standard normal curve. At the center where the peak is the highest, Z is equal to zero. Okay. Z is your standard normal variable. Normal variable. Now, sea level is the area in the center. And this is your sea level. And this is equal to 0 0.9 in this. 0 0.9 in this problem. Okay. So, the area in the center is 0 0.9. So, C is equal to 0 0.9 is equal to area in the center. Okay, so area in two tails, two tails, that means the shaded area, this one and this one. Area in two tails, total area under the curve is 1, 1 minus C or 1 minus 0 0.9 in this case is 0 0.1. But we know 1 minus C is equal to alpha. So in this problem, alpha is equal to 0 0.1. Because of symmetry, my drawing is not that good, but because of symmetry, each area of each tail is half of total alpha. 
alpha by 2 area. And this area is also alpha by 2. So if alpha is 0 0.1, alpha by 2 is 0 0.1 divided by 2 is 0 0.05. Why do I need this formula? Why do I need this information of alpha by 2? Because that will help me to find the critical value of Z, which is in the formula. So this critical value is minus Z alpha by 2 because it's on left of the mean Z equal to 0. And this critical value is positive Z alpha by 2. But area to the left of the critical value on the left tail is alpha by 2. It's minus Z alpha by 2. Now I can use my calculator. So in the calculator, I will press second, second, then verse in the third row. Then I scroll down to in now. Why? Because I know the area in the left tail as 0 0.05. So I'll type area as 0 0.05. This is the area in left tail. Area in left tail. Okay. My mu is 0, as you saw in this diagram, and sigma is 1. And then I paste. Whenever I'm on paste, I hit enter twice. Okay. So my minus Z alpha by 2 is equal to the second verse number 3. Area in the tail is 0 0.05. My mean is 0. My standard deviation is 1. Paste, enter, and enter. And it is minus 1.645. By symmetry, because the normal curve is symmetric, Z alpha by two in the right tail is equal to 1.645, 1.645. This is the value we are going to use in the formula. So if I may create some more space for myself, and uh, move this a little bit up. So, so my confidence interval is x bar plus minus z alpha by 2 multiplied by sigma divided by square root of n, which in my case x bar, the mean is 68 plus minus my z alpha by 2 is 1.645 multiplied by my population standard deviation is 3 and my sample size is uh, 38. Square root, the whole thing divided by square root of 38. Which can be, we can do the second term separately. So how will I do it in my calculator? 1.645 times 3 divided by, how do I get the square root? I press the second button, then x square. Second button and then x square. Okay. So 1.645 times 3 for the standard deviation. So 1.645 times 3 divided by second button and then x square button. x square button is in the first column. Second and x square gives me the square root. Inside the square root, I type in sample size of 38. So this is 68 plus minus 0 0.8, you might say. Okay. Now, this 0 0.8 term is called margin of error. which is equal to nothing but z alpha by 2 times sigma 
divided by square root of n. This is margin of error. So confidence interval is written like this. Confidence interval. In this case, 90% confidence interval is 68 minus 0 0.8 comma 68 plus 0 0.8. That is what the plus minus sign is doing. We are doing the negative first, which is the lower bound of the confidence interval. The positive, the plus sign is the upper bound. So 68 minus 0 0.8 is, use your calculator so that you don't make any mistake, is 67.2 comma 68.8. What does it mean? Let me create some more space for myself. So, it means with 90% confidence, we can state that the actual population mean will fall will fall between 67.2 and 68.8 now with 90% confidence means if i construct 100 intervals with 100 data point data that is 100 sample mean and all that and 100 uh, and population standard deviation. So if I construct 100 intervals, okay, out of those 100 intervals using this method, uh, 90 intervals will contain the actual population mean. The remaining 10 intervals will not contain the actual population. Now, how to do this with TI-84? TI-84 without using the long calculation, okay? Uh, so we will use uh, stat. So stat. First, press the stat button. Then highlight calc on the top row. Let me see calc or test. Let me make sure. No. No. Okay. So stat. And then highlight test. So stat and then highlight test on the top row. Okay. And then scroll down to test. This is test. Okay. Scroll down to Z interval. Scroll down with the down arrow key to Z interval. Why Z interval? Because we know population standard deviation sigma and n is greater than 30. Okay. So we go down to Z interval and then input. Uh, let me create some more space. A little bit more space. So input. Input should be on stats. Okay. Why? Because we know the summary stats of the sample. Okay. Sigma. What is my sigma? Is three. So type in three for sigma. Okay. What is my x bar? My x bar is 68. So type in 68. What is my N? My N type in 38. Sample size is 38. Okay. My C level. Confidence level is 0 0.9. So type in 0 0.9. And then you go to calculate. At the bottom is calculate. And hit enter. And
you get a slightly different answer. I'll check on my numbers again. It's We got uh, 67.9 to 68.1. Let me check on my numbers. Stat, test, and Z interval. Uh, data sigma is not 0.35. That's why I was mistaken. Sigma is uh, 3. That was a mistake. Okay, come and calculate. And you should get the same answer. Yes, we got the same answer. So might as well get rid of this. So back here. The answer is same as before. 67.2 comma 68.8. So with 90% confidence, we can state that the actual population mean will fall between 67.2 and 68.8. Same result as before. I'll stop here today. If you have any question, comment, write me a note. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please share this video with your friends. And I will see you next time with another interesting problem, interesting solution. Take care. Have a nice day.